Do you think your favorite biohacker has the secret to limitless energy? Because if so, you need to think twice. All of those pills and complicated biohacking protocols are just leading you down the wrong path. They are distracting you from the basics that truly matter. In this video, I will reveal why focusing on sleep and exercise is way more effective than any biohacking protocol out there and why real optimization of the human body starts with mastering those fundamentals, not with a pill. Now, don't get me wrong, I bought into it too. I bought loads of supplements just trying to cure my low energy and laziness, but all it left me was burnt out and broke because none of it truly worked. You see, in my experience, the pills and powders are not going to give you that 95% of growth that you are looking for. They're only going to finish off the 5%. And so if you are looking for a magic cure, a magic cure for your laziness, your low energy, you're not going to find it in the pills. You are going to find it by mastering the basics of sleep and exercise. You are not biohacking, hacking your biology by focusing on sleep and exercise. All you are doing is reprogramming your body to operate more effectively by clearing out the junk and toxins and promoting a smoother operating system. 95% of my low energy symptoms was focusing on the basics of sleep and exercise. It's as simple as that. If you were to put sleep and exercise into a pill form, I guarantee you they would become the most widely used drug on the entire planet. Every single one of the biohackers would be talking about it. That is how potent this practice, these basics are for your body and for your energy levels and for your health overall. Let's look at sleep. It is the backbone of your energy levels throughout your entire day. It sets what's known as your exhaustion threshold, your ability to maintain energy throughout your day. If you have a low exhaustion threshold because you got a poor night's sleep, how can you expect to have high energy throughout your entire day? That is just, you're, you're asking too much of your body. Your body operates on inputs and outputs. If you input good sleep, you will be able to output high energy throughout your entire day. Think of your body like a car. Whenever you go to bed, it's like you're getting a service on your vehicle. And that service, the quality of service is controlled by the quality of sleep or the quality of the mechanic that you go to. If you go to bed and you get terrible sleep, it's like taking your car into the dude that just decided he wanted to become a mechanic but knew nothing about cars. You're going to get a terrible service. He's going to forget to do things. He's not going to flush your oil out. He's not going to do anything that is important for servicing the car. Same with your body. If you get bad sleep, you will not be able to flush out all of those toxins and all of those chemicals that induce sleep, it will be a bad service. And there is not one system in your entire body that does not get affected by sleep. But likewise, if you get great sleep night after night, your body will be serviced properly. You will feel energetic throughout your day and you will overall just be healthier. During sleep, your body has the ability to remove all of those harmful toxins that are causing your lethargic state, as well as remove the chemicals that induce sleep, such as adenosine. If you want to have more energy throughout your day, your body has to get a good night's sleep so that it can remove the adenosine. Adenosine builds up throughout your day, and at night, that is the only time and the only way through sleep to get rid of adenosine. When you wake up in the morning, if you have lingering adenosine, you are going to feel tired within a couple of hours. That is why you feel tired when you wake up and you wanna take a nap in two hours. Your body during sleep also bolsters its immune system against cancer, against diseases that will inevitably, if you get them, will zap you of all of your energy. It will take everything you have just to stay alive or just to fight that disease. Not to mention when you go to bed, your body has the ability to promote cognitive function. It will boost your mental clarity throughout your day, providing you with more nutrients to your brain. It will boost your ability to learn and to memorize, and it will prevent Alzheimer's disease, which would genuinely just suck to get. And unfortunately, subpar sleep will lead to subpar results of everything we just talked about. So if you want to get better sleep, you can check out my sleep mastery playlist. I'll put it on the screen, one or two areas. I don't know yet. But there are three things that you could do to get better sleep right now. One, 
Get some light in the morning. Spike your cortisol levels. Cortisol is not a bad substance. It should be spiked in the early morning. You don't want it when you're trying to sleep because that's going to keep you up. But in the early morning, that is going to signal to your brain that it's time to start your day. Not to mention, when you get light on your eye, it sends a signal to your internal clock telling you that it is daytime and that bedtime is in X amount of hours. Number two, stick to a consistent bedtime. This will allow your body to expect sleep at a certain time and to autonomically prepare for it. If you say you're going to go to bed at 11 every single night, just do it. No excuses. This is the best thing that you can do to promote energy levels for the following day. To set yourself up for success and productivity. Number three, stay off of your phone at night. Two hours before bed, get off of your phone and all screens. Because the light from those screens is going to trick your body into thinking that it is still daytime. Not to mention the stimulative effects of things like TV, video games, jacking off and social media. All of these things are going to impede your sleep for good or for worse. It is up to you to use these tools for better, to get better sleep, to get better energy levels throughout your day. I'll briefly touch on the basic of exercise as well and how it can promote energy levels throughout your entire day. Because when you work out, you are bolstering and building up your heart, your cardiovascular system, and your lungs, which is only going to better give your body oxygen. It is going to promote oxygen and blood throw throughout your entire body, giving you more energy. Not to mention even all of the mental benefits of exercising, all of the endorphins, the runner's high, so to speak, that you get is only going to give you more motivation, more mental clarity, and so forth. If you want to fix your energy levels throughout the day so you could become the high achiever and accomplish what you set out to accomplish, you need to focus on the basics. No more buying those supplements because they're only going to give you 5% of what you actually need. You need to correct that 95% before that 5% will even make a significant difference to you. And if you want to become a competitive individual, because this world is very competitive, I'm sure you know that by now, you are going to have to have the energy in your tank to be able to compete with everybody else. You have to have more energy to, than them. Picture a race car in a race. If he has no gas in his tank, how could he ever potentially win against people that even have half tank, half tanks of gas or full tanks of gas? You need to focus on the basics. If you are interested in learning out more about sleep, go check out my sleep mastery playlist or in the comments, there is a link to my email. Reach out to me because I will be giving away for six more people, giving away my free sleep mastery cheat sheet. If you want that and get access to my free community about where we talk, where we talk about sleep and everything like that, please reach out to me in my email. Now water your roots and grow tall.